Hey everybody, it's John Dudley from Peterson's Bow Hunting. And in the last couple magazines, we've had some great articles relating to the release aid and also using back tension to give you a surprise shot. So I wanted to give you a quick little video here talking about some important tips that's gonna help bring all this together for you. So the first off is gonna be choosing which release you like. I'm a big believer in the handheld release aid simply because I like being able to, to attach it to my D-loop hang my bow in the tree and it's totally ready to go for whitetail hunting. It's also easier for me to climb tree stands or maneuver if I'm spotting stalking. This is easily put in my front pocket or a front chest pocket for storage. Now the other release which is the one that most bow hunters are using currently is a wrist strap release and this is a great release as long as you're shooting it the right way. What I'm gonna tell you is I think it's important that you always make sure that your strap is put on your wrist the exact same way because if it's tighter one time and looser another time, it will affect how you anchor and it's gonna give you some inconsistencies. The other thing is make sure that you adjust the length of this strap right here so that when you anchor, you're able to curl your finger all the way around this trigger just like this. If it's so extended that you're just able to put the tip of your finger on that release, you're going to end up running into problems because the tips of our index finger are super sensitive and what will happen is if that's all you're using to activate your release, you're slowly going to start anticipating that release. So with the handheld release aid, when you grab it, you want to have your hand flat just like this and what you'll notice is you'll actually create a V between your index finger and your middle finger right here because of when you grab around the head of that release. Now that V should be placed right on your jawline. Your index finger will go under your jaw and the middle finger will go above the jaw. So that V will come right on your jawline just like this and that's going to give you a perfect anchor position with a handheld release. Now with the wrist strap release, you're going to focus on putting the knuckle of your index finger right at your earlobe. So what I'm going to do here is I've actually got a great little device that I've used for years for training and working on these exact little things that I'm talking about. It's a bow grip with a piece of string on it that I've tied off to about my draw length. So with the handheld release, what we're going to do is we're going to have our hand flat just like this and we're going to anchor using that V right on your jawline just like I talked about and from there we're going to move our thumb to the trigger and once our fingers on the trigger instead of focusing on moving your finger on the trigger we're going to focus on pulling our elbow straight towards an object behind us. So I've moved my finger to the trigger, I've got pressure on the trigger, and now I'm just pulling my elbow to an object behind me until I get a perfectly surprised release just like that. Now with your wrist strap release, we're going to strive for the exact same thing. So we're going to have our wrist, wrist, our wrist strap, I like to always keep my finger behind the trigger. I like to grab around their strap just like this, I'm going to put my index finger right at the base of my earlobe. I'm gonna bring my finger all the way around that trigger. And once I'm aiming and steady in my sight, I'm gonna just slowly start to keep my finger in the same position as I'm pulling my elbow to an object behind me. Just like that, you have a perfect surprise release. If you use these tips, I can guarantee you, you're gonna master your release aid using an easy method of back tension.